I think that every painting that we encounter in an art gallery, our experience of it is only ever going to be enhanced by going to the place where the artist himself created these images. So I've had the great privilege uh, of going to Intergalshire to the spot where MacTaggart painted the storm. Now I can understand why people are responding to that image because I can testify it evokes the experience of being there. It suggests not just what things look like but what things feel like, what the sound of those rollers breaking on the sea was like, what the effect of the wind kind of ruffling your hair as you contemplated that scene was and that's the mark of a, you know, a really pioneering artist. But I think also what's crucial about MacTaggart is not just that he was exploiting, exploring the technique, the way that he could intuitively, instinctively represent the subject, but for him there was a very personal philosophy involved. The communities in the Argyllshire coast where he himself had been born and had grown up, he felt a deep empathy and affection for. And he immerses himself in that scenery, he paints again and again and again, and he never tires. His paintings never get kind of boring. They just seem to broaden out. They become more ambitious, not just in how to capture the natural elements, but how to invest that setting, that subject, with his concept of a particular community and their lives in that landscape.